Hello, how you doing? This is Stephen from Ask One Mac Tech. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up Deploy Studio. Uh, basically, what you need to do after you install it and put your aliases in the dock, you need to double click Deploy Studio Assistant. And you're going to get a dialog box that comes up that uh, it's not running, the server, Deploy Studio server isn't running, so click Start. And it's successfully started. So then what we need to do is uh, make sure it's, it's set to set up the Play Studio server. We're going to hit continue. And basically what I'm going to do here to make it easier for me is I like to just put the IP address in there. You could leave it as this, but I'm going to put the IP address. So I'm going to go here to system preferences. Because since this is an external drive that has Deploy Studio in there, if you work you know, for a university or a junior college or an elementary school, and you have a mobile, you know, you don't have a server, a Mac server in each uh, building for your labs, it, you know, you need to have an external drive configured with Deploy Studio in there. So you always need to change your IP address. So I just changed the IP address. I don't care about the, uh, you know, the um, host name. It's easier for me, and you'll see why. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to Deploy Studio. And since I'm uh, configuring this at home, I'm just going to copy the IP address here and hit Command-C. And of course, this is uh, coming from uh, my Linksys router, 192. And uh, I'm going to paste it here, right here, right in between there. Okay, just and just hit command V and you paste the IP address in there. Same thing, but you're just looking at numbers and IP address. And uh, now we're just putting in your admin password. So I'm gonna put mine in, or username and the password. Ask one Mac Tech. And I'm gonna put in the password. And the reason for, for that, like I said, is that when you're going in between different VLANs and building, especially on um, you, uh, educational institutions, um, you, you're going to have different IP addresses. So uh, you, you'll be able to just to punch in, you know, just copy and paste and copy and paste your IP address, put it in there, and then you'll be able to access your repository where your images are held. So when you get to this window here, just click continue. You want to keep it at master because you want to set this up as a master. When you get here, just set it to a network shared point, okay? If you're gonna use this to deploy an image through the network to a bunch of uh, Macs in your lab, just to set it to a network shared point, okay? Hit continue. Now what we need to do is create a folder. We need to create a repository. So what I did already is on my external drive, this is my server where I have um, everything installed. This is my uh, data drive where I'm gonna hold the images um, right here, I created this image. Let me get rid of this. I already did all that already. And let me trash it. So basically, I created a folder in the data drive here, okay? In the data drive called images. Don't worry about this folder up here. These are just for my videos. But right here, it's images. This is where I'm going to store all my images. It's going to put some configurations in there, and, and then uh, it, it's going to store the images in the a, uh, HFS folder, okay? So what we need to do is share these out. We have to share these out or this won't work. So you need to install server and you need to configure it. It's really easy and I'll, I'll do that in another video how to um, configure server. But I already have it configured here so I'm going to launch it. And uh, it's ready to go. They got the green light. There's my IP address. Now what we need to do is share this out. So here's file sharing. So. What we're going to do is we're going to go look for this this drive, the data drive, and the images. So I'm going to hit plus sign, and I'm going to look for the images. There's my data drive, and there's my images. I'm going to hit choose, and it's going to share this out on my little network that I have at home. Now, it's going to do the same at work, where if you're working for you know university or junior college, um, it's going to do the same over there. So now I'm going to hit the plus sign again and go choose my data drive and it should share that out and there it is so we're done there I'm going to collapse this and we're going to close this window 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to create this folder. We're going to we're going to create the path to this folder. Let me collapse that down. So to save time, I'm not going to explain everything. Just hit A because it's the Apple file protocol. AFP colon uh, forward slash forward slash your server name, which is the IP address slash where your folder's at. Okay, and you can see it down here, right down here. So you want to pick this right here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to, um, what I usually do is I'm going to go over here where Deploy Studios, uh, the, uh, the um, what do you call it, the information is in the preferences is, and I'm just going to drag and I'm going to highlight the IP address. I'm going to hit Command C real quick, and I'm just going to paste it right here. Okay, now I need to go. I need to create the path, right? So I'm going to hit forward slash data forward slash images. Don't forget the S. So that's what this is. Forward slash, okay, data drive forward slash images. This is where the information is going to be installed. Now we put in the ad, uh, username and the admin password. So I'm going to put my username in here, which is ask one Mac Tech. Then I'm going to come right over here to password and I'm going to type in the admin password. And then if everything goes well, we're going to hit continue and I'll be able to get to the next window. Boom! We're good to go. I don't even worry about this unless you want to set up an email server. Go right ahead. I don't care. Uh, here's I don't even worry about this either. Just keep on going. Continue. I don't even worry about this. Hit continue. I don't even worry about this and you know make sure you're you it just tells you what interface you're using for you're using e, uh, ethernet hit continue leave that as default hit continue and then hit continue again and everything is saved successfully boom we're good to go so if everything goes right your repository set up perfectly fine and you got the status green light okay and our next video, I'm going to show you how to create a NetBoot set. Okay, take care.